Hey guys, so I wanted to tell you about what we just went through here at the house. Um, so, well, let me start with what happened this morning. So this morning, um, and this is connected to what just happened. So this morning we woke up and we didn't have any water. Now, the house that we live in has well water. So the landlord yesterday had come to put a heater on the well so then it didn't freeze, um, which he does this every year. And apparently um, the heater that he had wasn't working properly. So this morning we woke up, didn't have any water. Um, so we couldn't flush the toilet, couldn't get water out of the sink or anything like that. And so we called the landlord and he brought over another heater and we were still having some issues with getting the water flowing because I guess the heat wasn't turned up enough um, or whatever the case may be. So basically, we had ran into town to get some stuff from the dollar store and a couple things from Aldi, um, just some grocery stuff. And while we were gone, the landlord came over and turned the heat up and he was doing that so then we would have running water um so when we get home i came in the house and the house just smelled like fish which is weird because like the entire time that we've lived here we've never cooked fish in this house or anything like that we've never had fish in this house and it just smelled very fishy in the house and so my husband was like, well, maybe it's just like the water coming out of the well, because sometimes the well water does smell a little odd. Um, but mostly it smells like eggy, not fishy. And anyway, I just didn't think anything of it because I'd never smelled that in the house before. And that was the issue. Well, we ended up having to call the fire department and I will tell you the whole story. So I was getting ready to put the stuff that we bought at the dollar store away and the microwave beeped like it does when the power goes out and then comes back on so I looked at it and um I was like that's weird and then my husband walked in and it beeped again and so I was like what the heck my husband unplugged it and the plug felt a little bit warm it wasn't too too hot but it was warm and then I noticed that um, it wasn't even, now mind you, it wasn't even the outlet that the issue was with because there was a fire at the house today. I'll just tell you that. Um, so where the microwave was plugged in is not even the outlet that had the fire, but it's like two feet away from it. So we're thinking it's on the same circuit, but whatever. Um, we unplugged the microwave, left it unplugged, and then... I noticed that the outlet that was lower on the ground, like the microwave outlet is up here and the outlet that was on fire is down towards the floor. Um, and so basically what happened was um, I noticed that the top half of the outlet was brown and that there was smoke coming from the outlet. So I freaked out. I was like, dude, we have to call 911, like, they need to send somebody here, and, you know, my husband didn't know what to do, um, but I was like, we have to call 911 because, you know, fires can spread very, very quickly, and everything, like, the whole house could be in, in flames by the time you call 911, so I had him call 911, and then he called the landlord, to let him know that the fire department was on their way. The landlord was actually upset with us because we called 911 first and not him, which I really don't understand. Please tell me if you should call your landlord first if you think there's a fire in the house or if you th should call 911 first to get the fire department on the way. Like everything that I've ever been taught says that you should call 911 right away if there's an emergency like that. So I don't feel like I was in the wrong. I feel like we handled the situation like we should have. And I just really don't understand why um, 
the landlord is upset about it. So it turns out that when the landlord had plugged in the heater and turned the heat up, he put it up to 1800 watts, which drew way too much power. And the outlet that he had the heater for the well plugged into outside is like right underneath the outlet that ended up being on fire. So the fire department cut the outlet um, out of the wall. They cut up a little bit over the outlet so then they can see um, like if anything else was on fire. And like, I really don't care if the landlord is upset. Like, I mean, I do, but I really don't care if he's upset because um, I see nothing wrong with what I did. Like, I see nothing wrong with calling 911 and making sure that the house is safe. And I'm very paranoid now. My anxiety is through the roof because, um, like, I just keep thinking, what if I had left Caesar at home instead of choosing to bring him with us to the dollar store and the whole house would have been in flames by the time we got back? I cannot imagine how I would feel. Like, just thinking about it is awful. Um... The good news is we have water running again, but the bad news is now my anxiety is through the roof. I don't know how I'm going to sleep tonight because I'm worried about, like, the house catching on fire. Um, I just want to unplug everything and leave everything unplugged. Like, I don't even want to use the plugs on the wall. Um, like, I told my husband, I don't want to use any of those plugs that are within 10 feet or 20 feet even of that outlet that was on fire. The fire department obviously says that it's safe for us to stay here, but I don't see how because the outlet is literally hanging out of the wall. I will insert pictures at the end of this so then you guys can see what I'm talking about. Um, I don't know. They said that it was on fire, but by the time they took it out of the wall, it wasn't on fire anymore. Um, they also said that the outlet was not grounded and um i believe they said how did they say it my husband was explaining to me kind of what they said but they told us not to use that outlet um the landlord is supposed to be bringing an electrician to fix it um but what really bothers me is that he had my husband plug the toaster into that outlet after the fire department left to test it. And the landlord was saying that, um, or my husband said that when he plugged the toaster in, the outlet was arcing. So it really makes me nervous to be here alone, to leave Caesar alone, because a lot of times Wrigley comes with me. As you guys know from videos I do in the car, Wrigley comes with me a lot because he can't be left home alone, really, because um, he gets into everything. <sighs> I'm really just stressed out about this whole thing. Like, I know that a lot of you guys probably think I'm overreacting, but it was really scary today. And, like, I totally broke down on the phone after the fire department left when I was explaining to my mom, like, everything that happened and like the reason why I'm so upset is because like I grew up with um my adoptive dad was a um he was an electrician a lineman and the company that he worked for did safety demonstrations all the time and he used to show me these safety demonstrations that he would go to different schools and do and it always shows like the electrical burning up the wall and then the whole house is on fire so that's like the mental image that I keep getting in my head and I think that's why I'm so upset like because it's all I can think of or I keep thinking of Caesar being at home alone and the house catches on fire and he's stuck here in his crate unable to do anything you know and it just really makes me upset so anyways, I just wanted to share. Um, I don't know how I'm going to get over this. I'm going to keep trying to do my best, but I don't know how I'm going to get over this. And I will talk to you guys again in my next video. I was going to show you guys the clothes that I got from the lady that I picked up yesterday from her, but I can't today. I just can't. 
So um, I'll talk to you guys again in my next video.